Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another quick Bulls unboxing. Today we're looking at the Caradron Overlords Arcanaut Company. These are the 10 models that will make up the majority of your uh, of your Caradron Overlords. Uh, these are your crew for all of your cool Duradin airship guys. I'm so stoked about this faction, I don't even know where to start. But uh, I can't wait to, to open this box up. I still have it in the plastic wrap. Did not open that up, I was waiting to do this video. Uh, displaying a ton of patience. I am <laughs> so ready to do this. So uh, with that said, jump on in. And here we go. All right, pop this box. I'm so stoked about the Cardron Overlords. Uh, they are a cool looking faction, brand new to the world of Age of Sigmar. Uh, I'm so pumped about it. And just make sure it's everything in the box. All right, we're clear. Moving that to the side. We've got the instructions on assembly, which we will come back to. Uh, we've got bases, gotta have bases. So these are the 25 mil bases. In case anybody was wondering, you get 10 of those. All right, first sprue, there's two sprues. We're just gonna go over the first one right now. So let me zoom in here so and get a better look. Check that out. All right, where to start? We've got weapons, we've got pistols, We've got the kind of power spear looking thing, which we saw as a preview actually from Games Workshop, teaser. Um, we've got the crazy torso bodies. There's five sets of uh, legs and torso on this one. We've got the crazy helmets. All the stuff has got a ton of detail, more pistol arms, the saber. Um, very cool. Wow. They have uh, shoulder pads as well, which are kind of neat. Um, I don't know, probably look in the instructions and I'll tell you which shoulder pad is left and right. But it looks like you have a spot here on the right shoulder pad where you can put like a patch or something like that if you if you wanted to have your own faction. Just kind of spin it around real quick. You can see some of the different heads right here, which are super cool. Oh uh, man. Again, they are supposed to be sealed in their suits, so completely covered uh, to the uh, the elements. Flip, uh, flip this over real fast, you can kind of see, there's the... Uh, the crazy anchor blade. <laughs> oh, wow, they have uh, harpoons and stuff like that too. That's the flip side of that sprue. Very cool looking. I, yeah, I'm looking forward to this faction. Let me flip it over and take a look at the other sprue. Flip that one out. Here we have a bunch of swords. Uh, let's see, those are left arms, left arms, all left arms. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10, so you can do that. Also have axes. These are all left-handed axes. Uh, yep, all left-handed. So there's 10 axes or swords. So I'm, I'm guessing, I haven't looked at the instructions yet, so that you'll have those two as, as different options for you, depending on how you want to load them out. Uh, let me flip this over. We can see the other side of the sprue. Again, this one's got four more bodies. So there's actually, there were six bodies here, six bodies and four more here for your full 10. Extra heads, backpacks. These backpacks, by the way, are super cool. Man, a lot of detail. Can't wait to assemble these guys. Let's go ahead and cut real quick, take a look at those instructions. Here are the instructions for the Argonaut Company. Um, man, here we go. Full color, just like we've come to expect. Um, the core models are gray. Pretty simple in, uh, assembly instructions. You're gonna take the bodies, glue them to the bases, glue a backpack, there you go. Uh, get all 10 of those done and then move on to the more complicated stuff where you can choose arm options and shoulder pads, heads, things like that. Uh, it looks like the patch goes on the right sh uh, shoulder and the kind of the emblem goes on the left. So in case you, you're keeping track at home. And so that's gonna work. We've got the light sky hook, which is pretty cool. I'm sure we're gonna see rules for that here in a second. We've got the Aethermatic volley gun, which looks like some kind of machine gun, minigun, and then the sky pike as well. Super cool. And those all use different arms. This one's 69, 62, and 66. So I'm guessing you can probably build all three if you really wanted to. Um, and the different weapon options here. I don't know again if we're just swords and axes are just kind of interchangeable or whatnot. So uh, let's take a look at the rules real quick and we'll be able to tell. So zoom in here. We've got the privateer pistols, which is kind of your generic uh, blaster away. The Ethermanic Volley Gun, these are all, and Light Skyhook, those are all missile weapons. Uh, you can see their different ranges and attacks and things like that. The melee weapons, you have the Arcanaut Cutter, uh, Gun Butt, and Sky Pike. So, um, Arcanaut Cutters, 
Let's see. Yeah, I don't think the cutters have any difference. So whether you go with an ax or a sword, doesn't look like it has an effect on your melee attacks. They all have uh, one attack with four to hit, so four to wound. All right, gun butt. That's uh, if you're using like a, a, a the the Aethermatic, I'm guessing. <laughs> so you still have that, and the sky pike again has some extra attacks and damage. Pretty cool looking there. So check that out. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. That's everything you're gonna get in the Arcanaut Company box. Um, I am so pumped about this faction. I'm sure this is going to be a big seller, uh, especially the Sky Kids. Holy moly. I uh, can't wait to see what folks do with these. That's it for this one. I'm Adam Harry from Bowl signing off. Have a good one.